Hi, I'm Rich with New Life Scientific, and today I just wanted to show you this really nice Virtus Genesis that we got into the shop here about a month ago. Um, I have gone clear through it, and we're just going to talk about a few things that I've done and just how really nice this machine is. You can really see it's just really sharp condition for, for the age of it. But I do want to point out um, the options first. This does have the isolation valve, which works fine. I did repl replace the solenoid that drives that. Um, it was showing a little wear, so I replaced the solenoid valve in it. And it also has the stoppering in it. And this is the switch to run it up and down here. And you can look over here into the oven area and you can see the two shelves for the stoppering trays. And everything works great. Just a really clean chamber in here. Um, there's no soils, there's no stains from any corrosive things that would have been put in, which is really good because I've seen some of these have uh, some nasty stains, but this one was just beautifully cleaned. Um, and I want to just kind of do a walk around, but um, I just want to point out also the metering valve here for adjusting your vacuum levels. And then the inert gas option if you want to bring in an inert gas rather than just the ambient. And then uh, we're going to look at down here. We've got the tri -vac vacuum pump here, and it has the quick change um, valve on there so you can do your oil changes real quick. And out here, as usual, we're offering the fluid evacuator here. And you just plug it in onto the vacuum pump, open the valve, and pump it out. And you're, you can get those oil changed real quick. Um, this one does have the Allen wrench to remove the plug there so you can put your funnel in there and refill it. Um, I did ask, add a waste bottle on these um, so any excess oil coming out of the filter up here um, will go into the waste bottle. That's something that Virtus never did. They just let it drip and so you can uh, dump that when that gets full enough so it keeps it nice and clean down here. But you can see also in the oven here, you can, uh, you can plug in some different uh, thermocouplers. I do have a couple thermocouplers actually in the tray here that you can use. So you can utilize these here, and that's what those are for. You can uh, maintain, uh, watch some temperatures through your control panel through those in your sample area. But you can just come on around again, just a beautiful machine. Um, we did uh, replace the solenoid valve, like I said, and it sits in here. This is where you're going to plug in your air the act for the actuator, and that will control the isolation valve there. And coming on around back, um, I just want to point out the two compressors here. Um, just really clean machines. I did do a isolation on the low side over here and did a complete new recharge. It was showing a little weakness in the charge. So it's, it's been checked, it's been uh, refilled with refri refrigerant. This one's been checked also, and it was running great. I didn't do anything to it. The oil levels are great on it. Um, everything, we replaced some uh, vacuum hoses like we always do to make sure that there's no vacuum leaks. Um, we, uh, we did up uh, here, if you can see the heating fluid level, we uh, topped that off with uh, some silicone oil so that you can maximize your cooling and your heating on your shelves. And I think that's pretty much all we did. Um, like I said, it was in great condition. Um, we just wanted to make sure we can get factory specs. As you can see, we are at negative 75 on the freeze part of the shelves, and that's what the factory spec is. Um, we're at negative 84, which is still dropping. I think uh, these run about 83 to 80, negative 83 to 85, so we're at factory spec there. And, and we're at the 20, we're still dropping on the vacuum. You can see it, when we started here, it's, it's still dropping. Um, it definitely gets down to the, the factory spec too. So this machine is running, uh, as far as I could tell, everything is running at factory specs from a new machine. Um, I just went ahead and set the temperatures at negative 80 here on the shelf temp, um, and it's you know, it's working its way towards that. This is about as low as it gets, but like I said, that's already below the, the spec factor. I think they call negative 75, and we're already below that there. But uh, all the controls work great, just a push button interface here. 
can uh, work your programs out and uh, use your metering valve for the vacuum and run some really good programs to get the efficiency down on all, all your um, freeze drying. But uh, like I said, uh, I went through it. If you got any questions, give us a call here at New Life Scientific. I'll see you on the next one.